Hey guys, it's Atek here, and currently we're installing Lubuntu, because Lubuntu is a thing. I just burned it to a disk. Uh, I tried to install earlier while recording, but then uh, it had a hissy fit about uh, not being formatted properly, so I got a Windows XP DVD and uh, format it manually, and it was... I hope fine and it's it's currently loading this part takes way too long I don't know why but I'm gonna try to make this video as short as possible and then we can see how good this computer performs with Lubuntu I would think it performs good because it's got one gigabyte of RAM uh, Pentium 4 2.8 gigahertz uh, it's got a 121 or er, 128 gig or er, 120 gigabyte Western Digital hard drive I'm sorry I can't speak today but yeah it's got all those good features and it's sorry for sniffling I just sneezed before I started the video um, this is designed for Windows XP this is just got a dull motherboard in there because the original HP one the CPU is uh, sort of broken so yeah what happened to the CPU was uh, I put the heatsink on backwards by accident because it doesn't tell you which way it goes on it just I guess it goes on one way and I put it on the wrong way and it cracked the die cracked so that was fun so now I just have a P4 um, board in there because I don't have any more Athlon XPs. So I'm just using what I got. Um, the gateway is over here. If I can turn this damn camera. There we go. Just chilling over there. Hold the garbage right there. I moved it. And as you can see, I built this table because I was tired of using a folding table. Eventually I'm probably just gonna build onto it like so it extends over here. So I can have more computers set up. So it's gonna be a lot on one outlet though. So yeah. Or I might just put a new outlet in, I don't know. There's nothing on the other side of this wall besides a laundry room, so it probably won't be that bad to install an outlet. There's no drywall on that side, so... Yeah. It should be very simple to just cut out an outlet and install one. But if I'm going to do that, I'm just going to put in two. Just because I am done with having no outlets. Like My room has three, and all of them are filled. I have my computer, I have my radio plugged in, um, and then I have my Bearded Dragon's tank lights, so, yeah, like, my brother has, like, six outlets in his room, so, he's way luckier. He doesn't even use, like, four of them, so, yeah, he just has a, my old computer, I gave him it. It's just sitting, it's just gonna chill in there, and... Yeah, that's pretty much it, but to save time on this video, because I've noticed a lot of my other videos are very tedious. So, yeah, we'll just, we'll, I'll, we'll get back to this when it decides to load something in. This decides to install, I might as well just show you the inside of this computer and the features that it has. So, right here, I, I actually, <laughs> I love this door thing. It's kind of, yeah. It's got a bunch of card readers, which is actually very nice, and I like the compact flash um, port. I don't have one on my modern computer, I don't think. It's got Firewire, um, audio in, audio out. It's got some gross stuff on there, but I didn't even realize it until now. It's got USB. It's got all the good features. It's got, well, this is the only working DVD drive in here. The other one I put in there, just, just why not? There's rubber bands holding this on because the original springs that were in there were gone. Here's a side. The other side. The side's really faded, but um, it's got thumb screws from the factory. 
can even prove that they don't come out it's actually very cool it's a little bit rusty but I mean it works here's the inside this is a power supply there's a little bit of rust down there I can sand that some actually a lot of rust on the outside it's kind of hard to show but on the inside the fan grill is actually pretty clean uh, there's the hard drive um, yeah, this is the inside, the fan, it's jerry-rigged on there. I mean, it works. Sort of. Alright, we're back to this error, which is to be expected. It's not connected to the internet, so... Do not. I like doing this to every computer I own, like if I have a Dell, Dell XPS, or Dell Winsman, whatever it is. Full name for this user. Aiden. Because that's my actual name, I'm not going to do A-Tech this time. Yeah, whatever. I don't care if it's weak, no one's going to use my Labuntu install, so... Here's where it's screwed up, um, where you get to the hard, uh, f hard drive formatting part. So, I'll uh, back on once we get to that screen. Oh god, I hope this works. Guided use entire disks. No, manual. Because last time we did that, it was bad. I already want to go back. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Finish partitioning. Mm, this is why I hate Linux. Backspace. Yes, go back. Escape. Escape. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Guided partitioning. Use entire disk. I didn't do this last time, I don't think. So we might be good. No, I remember it did. It was stuck at like 36%, and then it asked me to do something. So, eh, this is gonna take a long time. It's beautiful! It finally finished. This took one hour and 30 minutes to do. This is stupid. It, it should not take this long, but whatever. Ejected the CD for me. Conveniently. Continue. Rebooting your new system. Uh. Irritatingly, it's going to say, oh, fan failure. So it's not going to boot up right away. But Yeah, I don't care about your fan failure. Or the disk... I don't know why it thinks it needs a floppy drive. It's kind of dumb, but... What's gonna happen? Hard drive activity lights going. As you can see. I'll keep this zoomed out. Ow, I just stepped on something really painful. <laughs> this is like one of the I.O. covers for the thing. <gasps> Lubuntu! Ah! It's amazing. Screw that thing and go on the floor. Alright, I'm gonna keep this out here. Only took a million years. It looks like it has display drivers. 
Oh my god. It's it's beautiful. I could not ask for more. So that's that. Come on. There we go. Oh. It looks very pixelated. Why? Yeah, enter your password. Oh. I had numlock off. I leave that on. I don't know why I turned off, but you rusty. The DPI is really low. I need to adjust that. Oh. Oh my god. Something's happening. Ah! What, what the hell is the point of that? It looks very pointless. Ah, uh, we're here. That looks kind of lame, but... I wonder what's on here. Graphics. Right-click. Desktop preferences. Copy of shadow. Oh, whatever. Copy labeled text. I don't know what... I don't really care. Wallpaper. I wonder if there's any more in here. Nope, they're all pretty dumb. Alright. Desktop icons. Advanced. Alright. So, here we are. I got Ubuntu. Computer seems to be working. Last time I had a hard drive on this motherboard, the hard drive died. So that was nice. System tools. I wonder if there's like settings on here. I don't care about time and date. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's got the, the time very wrong. Uh, digital clock settings. Nope. Bro, why is this so stupid? Panel settings. Oh my god. No, it's fine. Desktop pager, whatever that is. No Bluetooth adapter found. Well, then go away. What is this? Computer. What is this? I'm probably never gonna have internet. So far, audio isn't working. Sound settings. Uh, how do you test? Playback. System sounds. Hmm, weird. Output. Well, this is the most boring version of Linux I might have ever seen. None there. And then downloads. Not in there. Okay, what a surprise. Floppy disk. Wow. I'm surprised it even has that as an option. Well, here we are. We got Linux installed. I need to fix that DPI. That's really bad. We can try to run Minecraft on it, I just gotta get that download for that. Monitor settings. Well, it has the correct resolution. Refresh rate, can it go this high? That looks blurry. That's better. That's... <laughs> uh, uh, no, stop. I'm trying to figure out how to use this because I don't use Linux. Um, I don't remember what it's gonna look up, but additional drivers. I don't know if there's any that it missed. Like it looks like it's got all of them. I know it has a sound driver. No, that was Mate that had that, but. Yeah, it seems like it's got everything, so I'm gonna do a full restart if I can. 
power management. Shut down. The sleep button is pressed. Suspend. The hibernation button. There is none. Status notifications. Sure. System tray icon. Ah. So that does. Okay. Uh, well, we'll just end the video here. Uh, well, that's not what I wanted it to do, but shut down. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Bye.